Uh, honestly, before fit res first responders is kind of hard to talk about for me. I was lazy. Um, I wasn't a very good husband, wasn't a very good father. Kind of just was going through life um, mediocre. I didn't really finish things that I said I would finish. My wife didn't really rely on me. She even had my uh, parents come to my house some mornings and uh, make sure that I was awake so that I could take care of my kids because I just wasn't reliable. She, didn't, she couldn't count on me. I spent a lot of time uh, playing PlayStation. I would get up, play PlayStation. My wife would call me and ask me what we were doing and I would lie to her, tell her I was doing something with my daughter. It didn't really hit home because I avoided thinking about the kind of person I was. It just made it easier for me to not think about myself as a person um, then look at all these glaring issues I had. It began to affect my family, obviously. My relationship with my wife and the relationship that my kids were seeing my wife and I have was affect affecting them and uh, they start, they begin to treat each other like I would treat her and I would treat them and it was just, it was just a deep dark hole that I couldn't really get out of. I would tell my wife I was always going to get in better shape and she would ask me, well, what are you, what are you gonna do to do that? And I would just avoid the question. I would uh, just say, just wait, you just wait. One day when I get in my 30s, I'll, I'll do it, I promise. <laughs> I promise, you know. And the problem with the way I was, was I didn't look that bad with my clothes on. People didn't consider me an overweight person. I was 120, or I was 215 pounds at my fattest and I was soft. <laughs> like. I could do my job because we had firemen there to do all our heavy lifting when we needed to. But then when it came down to me and my partner as a paramedic for EMSA, if we were the only ones there, I mean, I had hoped I had a good partner with me because I couldn't do the job myself. I had chronic back pain just from the extra weight um, that really affected the way that I performed on the job. But again, I just avoided it being something that was my fault and would just kind of use other people when necessary to complete the job or the task at hand. I had grown out of my pants and I ordered a new pair of pants at EMSA and I also just avoided like thinking about the fact that I was actually gaining weight. I just thought it was time to get better pants and so I got new pants but the new pants were happened to be a couple sizes bigger. Um, and they had those awesome stretchy elastic bands that you could just get fatter and fatter in and you would never notice, <laughs> um, which is terrible. But um, they were definitely starting to, to expand there too. I had maxed out my belt loop, the holes on my belt loop. Um, and then I also just avoided getting a new belt even though it was too small just because I never really thought that there was anything wrong with me. I just avoided it. Since Fit First Responders, life's been amazing. I feel great, I'm healthy. I feel like my skin is just healthier. I'm excited about what's happening in my life. I perform great on the job. Uh, my wife is extremely pleased with my results. My kids are, are just more excited to be around me. I spend more time interacting with them and having fun with them. I, I take them up Turkey Mountain go on walks, we go on bike rides, just all the stuff that we we always wanted to do but I was just too late, too tired and lazy to do. I've just been so I mean life's just so good now. I've had to grow I had to buy all new clothes. I've had to downsize on my fit first responder shirts. I went from the top of my belt loop um, down to the bottom. I went from the last notch to the first notch and now the first notch is getting a little loose. Since FFR physically I'm down uh, like 25 pounds of weight. I down seven inches around my my uh, midsection. I'm down 12% body fat, which is amazing. Since fit first responders, the uh, the, the biggest um, advantage I've, I've felt now is the fact that I just have a lot more stamina when it comes to um, lifting weights, and I can go a lot longer. Uh, my strength's obviously incre increased a ton. I went from like barely getting 135 pounds up on the bench to repping 225 several times. Um, it's been amazing on the job. Um, I'm the guy that, that people can count on. If I'm working with somebody that can't pull the weight, I can pull my weight and pull their weight, no problem. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't wear me out anymore. I, mean, I don't have pain anymore when I get into the ambulance. My back's not hurting. It's just been so exciting to 
to feel uh, healthy and to just be able to complete the task whenever it, it comes down to the wire. It's a life or death situation, obviously, in several situations. And I know I can count on myself mentally and I know I can count on myself physically now to, to uh, complete the task. So the Fit First Responder community um, is amazing. Um, it's top notch. I've never been a part of a, a uh, organization like it. The coaches are are better than I could ever expect. They push me uh, when I don't think I can get any farther. They encourage me when I need encouragement. The police officers and the firemen that I've been able to connect with on a more personal level, it's been amazing. It's, it's almost hard to talk about. It's hard to explain just because it's just been so exciting. I've got police officer friends and I've got firemen friends that I've known for several years and I've just never had the opportunity to get to know. And now we encourage each other. Uh, spiritually, we encourage each other. Physically, we encourage each other. We talk about calls that we might have run together. Um, it's just been so amazing to uh, have the opportunity to talk to the guys that I work side by side with um, on a more personal level. I'm Stuart Andrew. I'm fit for duty and I am fit for life.